I greet you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit on this 1st of September. On Saturday, we celebrated the life of Ruth Grubb with her friends, her family gathered in our sanctuary. On Tuesday, at Ott's funeral home, we celebrated the life of Lee McIlroy and then moved to Fairview Cemetery where he was interred. In between the funeral service at the funeral home and driving up to the cemetery, we received notice that Raimondo Culp died. Raimondo is a person who was a member of our congregation decades ago and was married in our sanctuary. She departed this life with the sign of faith and followed Richard and Robert's mother's death. Uh, their father died in March. So it, Richard and Robert lost their father in March and now their mother in, in August. And then today, this morning, we received word that Mayfern Halk was in the hospital at Lehigh Valley, surrounded by family, by an outstanding staff, nurses, doctors, hospice team. And she departed this life with a sign of faith, a faith that I know many of us found encouraging, supportive, Christ-centered. She was able to love others, but never lose sight of Jesus being the true center. She was able to speak truth in kind and gentle and loving ways. All four of these individuals have had influence. All four of these individuals that I've mentioned now in these very few and a five day period are related to our congregation in ways that I would like to think would inspire every member to get more involved. If this isn't the right time, if today isn't the right day for all of us, To go deeper, I don't know when we'll be. Tonight, our congregation council will meet. We'll discuss things that are important to the future of this congregation. Many of you have participated as congregation council participants, members, and some of you probably thought it was the uh, life sentence. <laughs> that you were sentenced to a task that you would never want to do again. I'd like to think that our leaders now actually want to be in session with each other and want to plan a future for this congregation, and for this community that is filled with hope. I think if we were to be able to do that, we would bring honor to the memories of Mayfair and Health to Raimondo Culp, who was able to find a way from Poland to Germany to the United States, sponsored by a wealthy industrialist in Philadelphia, but made her residence here in this community. For Lee McIlroy, one of the finest servants, committed to doing the absolute best job not only at making sure the field was maintained impeccably, but making sure that the hearts and minds and the spirit of our young students in this community were lifted up, and built up so that they would have confidence. When others would say no to a student or not pay attention to them, Lee did. He changed lives. The testimonies are all over the website at Ott's funeral home, and they were in abundance on Sunday and on Tuesday at the funeral services. And Ruth Grubb, well, talk about a servant. 
She was not only the spouse to one who provided medical care to this community for decades and one who would provide care for Dr. Grubb, keeping him healthy, but she was one that made contacts and connections around the globe worthy of us taking heed and being reminded that our work is not just in this building, but it must be for the sake of the gospel, global in its efforts. So thank you for listening to this little recording. Please keep those families in your prayers. Keep all of us in your prayers. The amount of work that multiple funerals presents for a staff probably is is hard to explain. And for many of you, regrettably, you don't really want to understand it. But to be at the bedside and to be at the graveside can take its toll. It's not my job. It's a calling. And it's never a calling for myself. It's a calling for all of us. I need my team. I need you. With God, all things are possible. Be blessed.